Howdy, I'm Nick and this is London Creative. Do you remember I painted these little figures to make them into Baba Yaga a few months back? Then they went with the hut that was meant to be tiny and end up being massive. Well, I haven't learned my lesson. Not the big, the small. I've got one extreme to the other. I went on the hunt to look for some other models that would be slightly bigger, a bit easier to paint. And I saw this figure, which was named a random thing, but he's basically Medusa. Greek mythology, Gorgon, you know, snakes in the hair, beautiful turns men to stone, that sort of thing. And it's 78 mil, so that's 28 mil. So that big. So I bought it and it's arrived. And um, yeah, the whole thing, stand platform, figure, pillar, all that is 78 mil but the details and all that it could be very hard to do it's in loads of pieces as well it's not even one complete figure i've got to put it together gluing it together is going to be a problem i think i'm gonna to have to paint it in pieces and then put it together it could be a struggle and it could take a while so let's see how we do i have this oh no this is going to be a pain to put together there's no instructions See that goes in there. I've got no idea what I'm building. I've seen one picture. That may not be needed, but I think they're needed to go in there, like that. Which legs are they? They're very well printed because you can very definitely see the texture of the 3D print. I have no idea what they are. Their arms. I think that's him down there. And that's her. That's his arm then, yeah. We've got two random little tiny swords. They just fell apart. That is so thinly printed, look. Whoever sword that is is now a broken sword. Do you mean that's here? There's little holes here. You do not know. And then I have these things. Ah, a pair of legs. That fits on there like that. It goes on there. And where's her body? Oh, she's here. Ain't nobody. She looks like that. That. Minus the hair, the arms, the legs, the random flappy things. I don't even know what they are, what are they? Stinty army things. And then I'm assuming hair. That's um, stage one. Stage two is to get some glue and actually glues. So here we go. Let's put her together. It's super glue. It's awful. It's like trying to stick things together with water. It's sticking to my finger. These are random skin like things. I think it's part of a dress. It is a dress. Dress. Oh look, her arms fall off. Overly long arm. I think her arms supposed to be up like that. Unless that's him. Take his arm. It's a very feminine arm. Whatever's happening. He's gonna fall apart. Oh look, he fell off because the glue didn't sit. It won't stay in because the glue is just useless. Wow, this is impressively bad glue. Yeah, that doesn't work. Whoa, that's leaking. I've stuck my fingers together. Good start. Oh, 
all stick together. Stuck to my finger again. Bloody hell. I can't stick it on here because it's so fine that every time I stick it, it's holding my fingers together. I'm stuck. Oh, Pulled the bloody arm off again because the super glue stuck to my fingers again. So we've gone from super glue that didn't stick to super glue that would stick everything to my fingers. Oh, for f Pete's sake, please, come on, just stick. And we're going to need it upstairs banging like crazy, as per usual. I'm smothering this in super glue. I'm leaving that. We'll deal with that in a bit. Well, 20 minutes to get them to their arm to sit on there, and you can tell it's not on there properly, and I don't care. He's having his arm chopped off. This is not well made, I've got to say. That's how dark it is. The cameras will instantly turn the light on to demonstrate this. It's pitch black in here. It's like half past three in the afternoon. I've added some green stuff to just fill up some of the spaces. But yeah, it's, it's so dark in here. There's no point filming it. Okay, we've got to this time, primer time. And I'm basically, I've still got the model in pieces and I'm gonna spray each one. I didn't realise why there's holes in this. They're for this. This is fabric, especially clothing. And I've got to try and stick that on there, like. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep a fairly normal colours. I've mixed pale pink and flesh tones to give her a bit more of a reddish tint. She has shoes on for some reason. I don't really understand why she'd have shoes on. She's a Greek goddess condemned to live in an abandoned palace. I don't think this is supposed to be Medusa originally. It is Medusa. Who knows? People do things for weird reasons. But she's supposed to be beautiful, which is always a misconception. It seems to make her hideous and ugly, but she's she was so beautiful that Hera cursed her with snakes, serpents for hair. So the rest of her is flawless and perfect and whatever. But one look from her will cast a man to stone. A little bit of black, and I'm gonna base the, the hair. I might actually go bluey black. The hair is snakes, of course, so I'm going with this. Could be nice focusing. He's focusing because he needs to be a bit more grey because he's been turned to stone. He's been turned to stone by his uniform. Right, that's another one down. Same with him. Century. I'm going with some warm grey all over my brush. So this bluish grey thing and then I'm going to... 
that is assured and I'm taking gold to it. I try and do is make the cracks stand out. And this is going to be a test of my hand holding skills, how well I can hold my hand still. We both know the answer to that is going to be not very. Painting cracks. Can you see? You can't see. Same again. Okay, I need a little bit of red paint and this out a bit, I feel like this has been there for a while. So he's been frozen in this, you know, turned stone here for a long time. You can tell because his clothing's fading and his hands are broken off. Right. Let's do some gluing. This had only been dry fitted, so. This, this goes in here, there's two holes. One, two, there's a lot of glue. So it just fell off. One, and we're not going in. One, and two. And my hand sticking, let's go like that. That needs to go back on there. Which is gonna prove to be pretty bloody difficult. I'm going to have to stick my hands to it. I need the smallest brush I can find to paint the hardest thing possible. Her eyes. Okay, now, does she go first? She's got to go first. I think we're done. Medusa and two rather unfortunate souls. It wasn't meant to be a Medusa and it was also not meant to be this small. But I'm quite pleased with it in the end, how it's ended up, how I've ended up making it into Medusa. But it came with no instructions and found a picture of the order. In the picture it looks like it's like that big. But yeah, there we go. What do you think? Not bad. I'm quite pleased with the paint job. Still not brilliant. Any tips on how to improve really, really small paint jobs, do tell me. It is better than the Baby Yagas, and this will probably go with them over there. But I hope you like this little video, and um, if you did, then do give it a thumbs up. Leave comments below. Tell me how to improve, what to try next, any suggestions on things, so forth. And uh, yeah, if you're not already subscribed and you like seeing me do painting these models, making stuff, making dioramas and building things, painting pictures, reviewing things, talking about stuff, all manner of this and that, you should hit subscribe down there and come back each time for something new, something different, something in London being creative. 
That's what we do here. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Don't look, she'll turn to stone. Dog. She's not going to help.